Right now, a $13 billion warship is patrolling the Atlantic. It's not just big, it's revolutionary. The USS Gerald R4 generates three times more power than any ship in history. It launches aircraft using invisible electromagnetic forces. It can sustain 270 combat missions daily. While China builds copies, America just revealed two new supercarrier names that will dominate the next century. What makes these ships unstoppable? The answer will shock you. The Gerald R. Ford class represents the biggest leap in naval technology since steel replaced wood. These aren't upgraded older carriers. They're completely reimagined weapons platforms built with one mission. Project American Power anywhere, anytime, against any threat. If you're amazed by American military might, type USA in the comments below. The story begins with a harsh reality check. By the early 2000s, our Nimitz-class carriers were reaching their limits. These ships, first commissioned in 1975, were engineering marvels, but faced modern threats they weren't designed to handle. Advanced missiles, cyber warfare, and sustained high-tempo operations demanded something entirely new. Defense Secretary Robert Gates announced on April 6, 2009, that each Gerald R. Ford class carrier would take five years to build, creating a more fiscally sustainable path toward a 10-carrier fleet. This wasn't about building better ships, it was about reimagining naval power projection. The revolutionary heart of these ships lies in their power generation. While Nimitz-class carriers produce 200 megawatts, Ford-class ships generate 600 megawatts, enough electricity to power a medium-sized city. This massive power output enables capabilities previously impossible on naval vessels. The most visible innovation is the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS. For nearly a century, carriers used steam catapults to launch aircraft. Emails changes everything. Using powerful electromagnetic fields, this system launches aircraft more smoothly and precisely while reducing stress on both planes and ship structure. The results speak for themselves. Ford-class carriers sustain 160 aircraft sorties daily for over 30 days, with surge capability reaching 270 sorties. That's 33% more launches than any previous carrier class could achieve. The USS Gerald R. Ford, commissioned July 22, 2017, proved these capabilities weren't theoretical. During its 2022 deployment, the ship launched over 1,200 combat sorties while operating in the Mediterranean and Middle East. The Ford demonstrated that advanced automation allows 900 fewer crew members to achieve greater results than larger crews on older ships. But success didn't come easily. The Ford program faced significant challenges, cost overruns, and skepticism. The lead ship cost $13.3 billion. 27% over original estimates. Critics questioned whether such technological leaps were achievable. History proves them wrong. Every revolutionary military system faces similar challenges. The Manhattan Project, jet engines, and the internet all encountered setbacks before proving transformative. The Ford class follows this pattern of initial struggle followed by breakthrough success. The second ship tells an equally compelling story. The USS John F. Kennedy, originally scheduled for 2025 delivery, faced strategic delays that actually produced a better warship. On April 8, 2025, the Navy announced the Kennedy's new delivery date of March 2027. Rather than rushing to meet deadlines, Navy leadership incorporated lessons learned from Ford's operations. This extra time allows completion of work typically done after delivery meaning Kennedy enters service more capable and deployment ready. Captain Brian Metcalf revealed in November 2023 that Kennedy is 90% complete and will deploy to the Indo-Pacific region. This strategic positioning brings Ford-class capabilities directly to where Chinese naval expansion poses the greatest challenge to American maritime dominance. The third ship carries legendary heritage. The USS Enterprise, scheduled for July 2030 delivery, will be the ninth ship bearing this storied name. Construction began in August 2017 using steel from the previous Enterprise, which served over 50 years with distinction. Olympic champions Katie Ledecky and Simone Biel sponsor the Enterprise, representing excellence that defines both American athletics and naval service. The Enterprise will replace USS Dwight D. Eisenhower bringing enhanced capabilities based on lessons from Ford and Kennedy operations. The fourth ship honors an American hero, 
the USS Doris Miller delivering February 2032 commemorates the first African American to receive the Navy Cross. Miller serving aboard USS West Virginia during Pearl Harbor, manned anti-aircraft guns despite racial barriers, shooting down enemy aircraft, and saving shipmates. Miller's courage exemplifies valor-defining American naval service. The Doris Miller becomes the first carrier named for an African American and the first honoring an enlisted sailor, breaking barriers while maintaining traditions of excellence. The announcement making worldwide headlines came January 13, 2025. President Joe Biden revealed names for the 5th and 6th Ford-class carriers USS William J. Clinton and USS George W. Bush. These ships honor the 42nd and 43rd presidents, representing bipartisan commitment to naval superiority. Secretary of the Navy Carlos del Toro selected these names, though the White House made the announcement, emphasizing national significance. The Clinton and Bush will ensure American naval dominance into the 2040s and beyond. Ford-class innovations extend beyond propulsion and launch systems. These ships feature the most advanced radar and defensive systems ever installed on naval vessels. The AN-SPY-3 and AN-SPY-4 radars provide unprecedented situational awareness, while ship self-defense systems coordinate multiple protective layers. The ship's island superstructure, positioned further aft and 20 feet taller than predecessors, houses advanced communications while improving flight deck efficiency. This design represents thousands of hours of analysis optimizing both defensive capabilities and flight operations. Revolutionary weapons handling eliminates most horizontal munitions movement through narrow passages. Advanced elevator systems and revised layouts move ordnance quickly and safely from storage to aircraft, directly supporting enhanced sortie generation. Training programs for Ford-class crews set new naval education standards. Sailors master traditional seamanship plus advanced computer systems, electromagnetic technologies, and integrated warfare concepts, producing the most technically competent sailors in naval history. The program's ripple effects extend throughout American industry. Electromagnetic launch technology has potential space applications, while advanced power systems could revolutionize electrical grids. Newport News Shipbuilding transformed facilities to accommodate Ford-class construction, ensuring unmatched American shipbuilding capabilities. Global naval competition makes Ford-class advantages more significant. China's Type 003 carrier with electromagnetic launches represents achievement but lags behind American capabilities. Chinese forces lack decades of operational experience in forming American designs and the supporting infrastructure making carrier operations truly effective. Russia's carrier program faces greater challenges. Their sole operational carrier requires frequent repairs while their shipbuilding industry lacks resources for modern designs. Russian naval aviation struggles maintaining relevant capabilities. This context makes Ford-class ships symbols of American technological leadership. In an era when nations challenge maritime dominance, these carriers ensure America maintains decisive advantages in the most important military platforms. Environmental considerations influenced Ford-class design. Ships incorporate plasma arc waste destruction systems treating all combustible waste, developed with Canadian company Pyrogenesis. Advanced nuclear reactors and efficient systems reduce environmental impact while increasing capability. Future growth potential ensures 90-year service life relevance. Only half the electrical generation capacity is currently used, leaving enormous potential for systems not yet invented. This forward-looking philosophy reflects lessons from Nimitz-class adaptability while taking flexibility to new levels. Planned future weapons include directed energy systems, advanced missile defense, and unmanned aircraft revolutionizing carrier aviation. Built-in electrical reserves ensure support for technologies still under development. Recent Ford deployments validate capabilities in action. The 2022 operation included Mediterranean and Middle East missions, conducting combat operations while demonstrating allied interoperability. Successful completion proved Ford-class technology delivers on promises while maintaining required reliability. Strategic implications extend beyond individual performance. Ford-class carriers anchor strike groups including advanced destroyers, cruisers, submarines, and support vessels. 
Enhanced capabilities allow these groups operating more effectively across greater distances while maintaining higher readiness. Current global tensions make these capabilities increasingly relevant. The program provides tools needed for maritime security in a complex world. Whether responding to crises, deterring aggression, or conducting combat operations, these ships ensure American naval forces remain unmatched. Congressional oversight reflects both importance and development challenges. The Congressional Research Service, Government Accountability Office, and Congressional Budget Office conduct extensive analyses, providing transparency while supporting continued development. The Congressional Budget Office's 2025 Shipbuilding Analysis Projects, Ford Class Construction through 2054, with six additional ships beyond those announced. This long-term commitment ensures naval superiority extending well into the future while providing predictable industrial base work. Economic impact extends throughout American industry. The program supports hundreds of thousands of jobs across multiple states, from steel production to electronics manufacturing. Major contractors include General Atomics for emails and Raytheon for defensive systems, plus countless specialized component suppliers. This economic dimension reinforces strategic value. Ford-class construction maintains technological leadership while supporting domestic manufacturing proving essential during emergencies. Developed skills and technologies benefit numerous industries and applications. As the class enters full operation, impacts on naval strategy become clear. These ships enable new operational concepts while maintaining traditional carrier advantages of mobility, flexibility, and striking power. Sustained high sortie rates allow influence over larger geographic areas than previous ships. International reactions reveal strategic significance. Allied nations view these ships as American commitment symbols, while adversaries recognize them as formidable obstacles. Ford-class carrier presence sends unmistakable signals about American interests and capabilities. Training and doctrine development represents another revolutionary dimension. Naval aviators, surface officers, and specialists adapt to new capabilities and concepts. This adaptation strengthens the entire Navy while ensuring maximum platform effectiveness. The class influences international cooperation and alliance relationships. Partner nations contribute to strike group operations while learning from American advanced naval technology experience. These interactions strengthen alliances while demonstrating technological leadership. Looking ahead, Ford-class ships will define American naval operations for the 21st century, remainder, and beyond. As threats evolve and challenges emerge, these platforms provide foundations for maintaining maritime superiority while adapting to changing strategic requirements. Program success validates American military innovation and strategic planning approaches. By accepting revolutionary technology development risks, America created naval capabilities serving national interests for generations. The Ford class proves that when America commits to excellence, results exceed ambitious expectations. These magnificent vessels ensure American naval power remains unmatched while providing flexibility for addressing future challenges. The Ford class program continues advancing capabilities while inspiring the next generation carrying forward excellence and innovation traditions. These ships ensure America remains the world's premier naval power, defending freedom across the world's oceans. If this look at our nation's most advanced warships inspired you, subscribe for more American military excellence content and share your thoughts below. Until next time, keep supporting those who serve aboard these floating fortresses of freedom.